a very good daily is doing the daily sandstone at Uglog, which does require 81 mining. And then you can mine a whopping 50 per day. But if you do have an augmented pickaxe with the honed perk, you have a chance to get double. That does not count for the 50. So you could technically get like 55. And also for the aura, if you are using the resourceful aura, you have a 10% chance that it will not deplete, which means you have a chance to get double sandstone. And of course, it does work at crystal, although crystal flasks are very cheap at the moment. The potion flask does require 89 crafting and the quest as a first resort to gain access to the Rubusk Glass Machine at Uglog or in Prithinius. And then remember, there is also another sandstone spot. And then if you do wish to make the best flask, you will not want to convert them. You will just want to have the red sandstone as it is. Once you have mined your 50, and if you got lucky, you might probably get about 60... Two-ish run south and we'll be going to the machine to convert it which again does require the quest as a first resort convert them once you have done your first inventory you want to run southwest and like i said earlier if you do craft on it it does require 89 crafting and you'll be able to get a potion flask that does sell for almost 19,000 coins. Except, I always like to sell items far below, and I'll be selling them at a whopping 15k. And of course, you could slow sell them for almost 20k if you are patient enough. So, let's bank all the Rubusk. Once you have banks, you could buy your meat from the Uglog NPC as well which you want to buy the raw bird meat and the raw beef pack. You can also buy the rabbit as well. After you have mined your 50 for the day, you want to actually make your way to Menopause now. That does require the quest Jack of Spades. One more requirement is that you will need to have the Elite Desert Task completed for that and the quest contact and i'm waiting for the computer to load because i have no idea why it always crashes while i go to menopause it's just super terrible but anyway after the quest contact you can right click this guard and go to solfenheim for here it will just take you on the other side of the city and you want to go east. If you do not have this quest completed, you will actually need to run north to the merchant district, go north outside the city, and then make your way east to Menafos, although I mean to Sofenheim. And then you'll want to be on the east outside portion of it. Go through the gate, which does make your screen go black. And then here is the second sandstone. This, however, you're only able to get 25 instead of 50. And of course, the owned perk and the resourceful perk does stack and work for both spots, including the crystal flask. Although, again, they're super cheap, so I only pretty much do these. And now, if you're an Iron Man, this is probably the only way to get a six dose potion instead of four doses because it could take a while as Prithinius does require a lot of 75 plus all stats I believe in 18 skills and you have to do quite a bit of questing as well which some people may not like and then that only locks the crystal and then I mean that's about it the GP per hour well 
I don't want to say per hour because this only takes about maybe 10 minutes to go to all four locations. But you can convert the sandstone to the rubus glass and then you can uh, craft them into the potions which you can sell. And it does take about 10 minutes for the progress. And you should expect to get almost 1.1 mil GP from doing the whole trip. And then, of course, if you did get extra from the resourceful perk and the honed, you could get a little bit extra money from that as well. So, with that, thank you all so much for watching this strange money making guide and a daily reminder to do this as well. With that, thank you all so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as it does really help.